To map the waterbed, tap the waterbed icon on the iBobber home screen or from the fish finding screens, tap the icon to the right of the iBobber dashboard icon. Once you are on the right screen, follow the directions by casting the iBobber into the water up to 100 feet away and then tap OK. Once the countdown timer finishes, reel in the iBobber slowly and steadily, about 2 feet per second, and tap OK when you're done reeling it in. If you find 2 feet per second doesn't work for you, you can change the reel in speed in the app settings under Speed. When using the waterbed mapping mode, remember that iBobber needs to be in at least 4 feet of water to function correctly. For this though, we've just used the demonstration mode, which is the default until you pair with an iBobber. You can see the depth gauge along the left side and a distance measurement along the bottom, as well as the occasional weed or other debris. In this screen, the y-axis, the depth gauge, is the point closest to you, the point at which you pressed OK when you finished reeling in. The numbers at the bottom represent the distance from that point, making it easy to estimate how far out you need to cast. If you want to save this image, just press the trip log pin to create a trip log for the location. If you want to add multiple mapping results images, we suggest taking screenshots and adding it to the trip log created with the original mapping result. Now go out there and map your favorite spots. Tight lines.